friends, welcome to 3 Minutes with Tony Harris. Today we're reading from Exodus 18, 17 to 18. So Moses' father-in-law said to him, The thing that you are doing is not good. Both you and these people who are with you will surely wear yourselves out, for this thing is too much for you and you are not able to perform it by yourself. So in this scripture, Jethro was advising Moses that the work he was doing was too much and that he had to delegate some of his duties to other people so that he would not wear himself out. And so today I'm going to be speaking on mentorship. And so Jethro was a mentor to Moses. Mentors are people that God has strategically placed in your life to act as spiritual guardians, to act as people that will nourish you and make you rooted and grounded in the word of God. And so mentors are accountability partners. There are people that intercede for you. There are people that give you the, they see a potential in you and they give you the opportunity to rise and be all what God has called you to be. Mentors are role, model, role models. And you know, these people are so important and strategic in your life. And I pray that this year, God will give you a mentor that would help you to get to your destination and your purpose in life in Jesus' name. And so I'm gonna be giving some examples of some of the mentors that we have in the Bible. I already spoke about Jethro. He was somebody that gave godly counsel to Moses. What about um, Paul? He was a mentor to Timothy. He was able to establish T Timothy in the path of the Lord. He, he was grounded and he was able to expose the scriptures to him. What about Naomi? Naomi was a mentor to Ruth. And she was a mentor that was secured and was not intimidated. She allowed Ruth to shine. She allowed Ruth to fly. When Ruth said she was going into the field of Boaz, she did not stop her. She did not hinder her. She let her fulfill her purpose. We are looking for mentors like this in life. What about Mary? Mary, Elizabeth was Mary's mentor. When Mary was pregnant, she looked for somebody that was equally pregnant like her. And that was why she went to look for Elizabeth. When you are going to choose a mentor, mentor, you have to choose somebody that you see yourself in. Somebody that is going where you are going or somebody that is already where you would like to be. These are the kinds of people that you follow in life and God strategically places them in your life so that you can be a better person in life. And the last one is Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ was like a mentor to Peter. And you remember the scripture where it says that Jesus prayed for Peter when Peter was in, when he was going through a weak state. And so Jesus was able to intercede for him. Mentors are there to pray for you, to make you a better person in life. This year, go look for a mentor that can, that, that can help you to become all you want to be in life. And also don't forget to, be, to have mentees that you will pour into, mentees that you would raise up, transform and impact so that they will be better people in life as well. God bless you and have a blessed week.